That's right, right there. Right beside that tree trunk. Tree down in the water and it's pointing straight towards the boat. I'm just working it along that trunk. See if there's a fish on the underside. A lot of times they'll lay up under those trunks. There he is. Golly. Man, that fish felt like a big son of a gun when I set the hook with this little two pound line. He took off with it, took off with it fast, folks. But I'm amazed <laughs> how hard that fish, usually crappie don't do that. But that's the reason why it's a big white crappie. Let's get him on out. Let's get him on out here in the sun. He's a pretty doggone good fish. Let's talk about him what we're doing right here that's a good white crappie and you know it's been a while since i've caught a white crappie good fish right there darn i should have brought my bucket yeah that's a white crappie see the bars running this way vertically that's a white crappie that jig just fell out they all right folks i caught that fish on a 1.75 slab tail bait right there on a 1 64th of an ounce jig head and that's a size 8 sickle hook 2 pound test line and a little bitty float and I caught that fish about 20 inches deep maybe 22 inches deep there and I caught him on the original slab tail jig now this bait right here, when fishing gets really tough, this is my go-to bait. Especially when I'm fishing uh, vertically, under a float, teasing for a bite. Our weather conditions here lately has been terrible. Uh, we're under a drought still. Our lakes, rivers, everything is low, low water. And these fish are a little bit tough to catch. And we're having, like I've mentioned, a lot of fronts, one after the next. But black and yellow tail is the name of it. A simple color, highly visible, especially here in a shady area. I'm here kind of in a corner, tucked in a corner right here. And I believe we found some crappie over there. Let's go back over there. As we go, I'll show you the equipment that we're going to be using next couple hours which is just going to be one rod i'm going to fish very slow i'm going to have to to get the bites okay folks while we're getting getting over there now like i've said i'm using or mentioned i believe i mentioned i'm using two pound test mono this is high vis vicious little bitty float and that fish is probably around 22 inches deep little bitty jig head 164th of an ounce and an inch point seven five slab tail jig a lot of action right there on that tail that's a size eight hook and i'm using a six and a half foot ultralight sow belly rod limber as any dish rag you ever washed a dish with and a little 2000 size dial reel and we got to get back over there because I come out here <laughs> looking for fish, and I've just now found them. I've been looking for these fish a while, folks, a long while, and just now have caught one. I've checked a lot of different areas. They're empty, so I tried right here. Now, the reason why I'm using such a, a small float is because crappie... A float of that size, when a crappie hits a jig, he'll hold on to it much longer, much longer, folks, with a tiny float like that. Now, another thing is, this two-pound test line, now that's a long cast. I can make long cast stay away from the fish by using two-pound test mono. It springs off of this reel like nobody's business and you can 
really fired out there because as clear as this water is well you don't want to be on top of the fish you want to be a long cast or a, a reasonably long cast away um, from from the fish see I'm getting a bite right now that's a bluegill that's definitely not a crappie that when you see that boom, 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 like like that right there that's a bluegill a crappie will sink that float Usually the bat will be like that right there. That's a <laughs> look here, folks. That that flow to just go down real, real slow. I believe that's another white crappie, but he's not very big. There's some fish right there. We have located a few fish. What about that? Now is that a little white crappie? Or a black crappie. Let's see if we can flip him in here. I know he ain't very big. But it don't matter. Not today it don't. Because I fished hard. For about three hours. That's a little black crappie. One of about oh, nine and a half inches. I did. I really fished hard. And I checked some great looking areas too. Okay, let's put him back right here. What's he gonna do? There he goes. <laughs> so we do got a few fish over here. But uh, I'm just gonna kind of let the wind work this bait. I'm gonna twitch it along. Uh, that, that tail, that flat tail on that slab tail, when I twitch it like that, it's doing that number there which i've explained before crappie can't stand that even if they're not feeding and believe you me today is not <laughs> i it's hard to even get a bluegill to buy it folks today i'm just gonna twitch it barely barely move it i don't know if y'all can see that float or not it's so small now that fish hit that bait fast and hard that's an indication that there were several crappie there. He had some competition. When they do that, and I failed to mention that, but I meant to, even though they're not feeding, he decided to eat it, and his buddies were right there beside him. So he knocked the fire out of it. Look here. Look, hey. Ooh, a lot of pecking going on. But I'll tell y'all when it's a crappie, if y'all can't see that float. There's a crappie right there. That float just went down like nobody's business. And quick, let's move away from there. They're that tough. What I'm wanting to do is get them out of there so they don't alarm the other fish too much. This is a white crappie. Sure is. Not a very big one. But boy, 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 what a fat, pretty fish. We'll get, I'm running out of sun. <laughs> Y'all can see right there. But I'm going to face the sun the best I can so I can show you how pretty this little crappie is. He ain't, he ain't big, but the way he's shaped. Come here, fish. Okay, look here. Now, he... <laughs> He's got a funny shape. See him right there? They just something a little bit not right with him. Right in here is too short. He should be another inch and a half longer. But look at him. That's a, still a pretty fish. He fought. And if you notice that, he was just barely caught. That's an inactive crappie when you see that. But he's a little white crappie. Beautiful markings on that fish let's let him go i'm proud to just get bit that's how bad it's been today it's picking up though there he goes now we know there's crappie there that boosts my confidence like nobody's business when you know the fish are there then all you got to do well you're right. That one on the back, left-hand corner, you're right, man. All we got to do is catch them. 
all we got to do is catch the doggone things. Woo! Hey, man. Woo! You know, sometimes when you do locate fish like this, even though you're having a hard time catching fish, and all of a sudden you, you locate them, okay, like we've done right here, they could be far more, far more fish than what we, we really think they are in there. They could be stacked in there. One is just, every once in a while, want to bite the bait. That's crappie. They're notorious for that. And uh, sometimes you can fire the school up, uh, especially if there's a lot of fish in there, even if they're inactive. If you just keep catching one every once in a while, you'll fire them up enough to where you can, they'll get a little bit more active than what they normally would be. Uh, it's strange that, that way, but I've seen that a lot of times. Now we're back in there where the fish are. If them fish ever break away from that tree a little bit more, folks, you know, we're, they'll get more active. That's usually what happens. They're a lot easier to catch, but right now they're really tight to that tree. And that jig's got to come by them just so-so or they... They won't even look at it. That's what's going on right here. They won't even pay attention to it. So, I know they're there. There's no doubt about that. There's one right there. And then you just got to stick with them. Stick tight. Stick to Hang tough. That's what. That's right. This one ain't too bad. Or we just main one. But ultralight fishing is, is <laughs> my favorite, my favorite way to catch crappie with this two-pound line, if there's not, if I can get by with it. Of course, you can't. That's a, another white crappie. That's three white crappie out of, that, out of that tree. What about that? Beautiful, beautiful fish. Let's get him right here. Three white crappie. Just the other day, I was saying, boy, I wish I could catch me some white crappie. Now, that's not a bad fish right there. Matter of fact, it's a darn good one. That's about a 12-inch crappie right there, or close to it. But look, see? He just barely, barely hooked. Look. Well, it almost come out. Just by the skin. Y'all can see that. I gotta fix that jig. It's twisted, but probably put me another one on there. I've done pretty good with it. There he goes. Let's put us another one on there. But slow is the key. I mean, that slab tail jig, this is what, what I'm wanting it to happen right here. Let's look at this, folks. Uh, maybe we can see it from right here. Let's put it in the water. Okay. When I twitch that float, y'all see that tail? When I twitch it just a little bit, that's what that tail's doing. It don't take much of a twitch to make that slab tail work. You can fish it incredibly slow and still get, and it's still got a lot of action. That's what I love about these baits. Like I said, when things get tough, I'll break out the original slab tail jig. They they have the most the most limber tail. There's a lot of bait companies that's trying to to copy them, of course. <laughs> but slab tail has got the best action on on their baits. So I just want to make that clear because it's the truth. I've been using these for years and killing the crappie with them. Let's make a long cast right there. And I'm just going to let that... <laughs> See, I'm not doing anything. I'm going to twitch it just a little bit, then I'm not going to do anything. Little bitty twitches. Now, right ah, there... Should be a good place. Look here, I'm done. Be it. Mm, there he is. Now there's a good one. We need to back off here. 
<clears throat> Let's back off a little bit. I was messing around. See what I'm talking about? Catching all them little crappie. And then boom, a good one hits. They'll get in there with them. I used to think that the same hatch run together. That's not so. Not when it comes to crappie. For years I thought that. Until I learned better. There's a black crappie. Nice one. <laughs> I expected it. He, they're about wore that jig out. I expected it, but I didn't. I didn't know for sure. But let's let it. All right, folks. That's going to be about the end of it. Uh, we ended up turning a bad day in the fishing into a, a pretty good day of fishing. This technique right here is second to none when it comes to inactive crappie where a front has stopped them from biting. Great technique. It, it, um, that's one reason why I came today to show this technique, which I've done it several times on this channel because I had to to catch fish. It's that good of a technique. I want to say God bless each and every one of y'all. Thank y'all for all the comments. Everything y'all do for this channel is, well, more than appreciated. Hey, the sun. And remember, go fishing when you can, but call this good for you.